practice activities and resources. In addition to the four major skill areas assessed on TOEFL test, reading, listening, speaking, and writing, there are several supplementary skills that will help you succeed on the test as well as in your academic studies. These skills, note-taking, paraphrasing, and summarizing are not directly tested on the TOEFL test, but mastering them will help you improve your score. Strategies for developing these skills are presented below. On the next slide, we will detail what each supplementary skill is about. We want you to take a few minutes to read and take notes if you feel you need to do so. Now, we will take you through listening practice activities. We want to remind you that these listening practice activities are just a few of them. Of course, you may find many more, but we believe these ones will help you succeed on your test. Number one, understanding natural speech. Number two, understanding connections. Number three, identifying topics. Number four, details. Number five, making inferences and drawing conclusions. As you watch the video, you will understand what each of these practices are about, and later you will have the chance to put them into practice. Understanding natural speech. The passages you hear in the listening section of the TOEFL test are presented in natural speech. In natural speech, speakers interrupt themselves and make mistakes, then correct themselves. They hesitate in the middle of a phrase or use a filler such as um or uh while they think. They may stutter repeat phrases or restart what they were saying by either repeating the same words or using different words. Understanding connections. As speakers connect their ideas by using reference and transitional expressions. When listening to the lectures and conversations on the TOEFL test, it is important that you follow the speaker's signals and understand reference. Identifying topics. Identifying the topic of a conversation or lecture immediately will help you anticipate the information you will hear and the details you will need to remember in order to answer the questions. The topic is what the conversation or lecture is mainly about. It is usually found at the beginning of the listening passage. On the TOEFL test, you may be asked about the details in the conversation or lecture. There are different types of questions that deal with details. For example, restatements, two correct answers, linking content, matching, making inferences. Some questions require you to make inferences. Drawing conclusions. Some questions require you to draw a conclusion through details that are expressed or through general knowledge. You need to come to a conclusion. When you infer or draw conclusions, you need to pay attention to attitude, reasons, speaker's purpose, a speaker's meaning, among others. These different resources will help you improve your listening skill. CDs, videotapes, CD-ROMs, TV programs, radio programs, movies, lectures given in English, online lectures in English, listening passages, 